what's up what's up what's up what's going on another day another dollar what's up with j for life tv whoo jp hardnet got another one got another one uh this continuation with uh the fresh and fit when they had the panel of women on and my man dj academics and his brother mike rashad received and uh it was it was a great interview i'll be honest i don't even know if it calls an interview but a show so uh, but this part is where one of the young ladies on here tried to expose myron so uh you got to see how she i think she's a little butt hurt that he doesn't remember her but i i'll, I'll talk as we go and and show you but it's just crazy how you know she gonna bring this up but before we get going let's go ahead hit the subscribe button like and the notification bell comment at the end and we're trying to reach a goal let's try to do 50 for the month and 50 subscribers for the month and help brother out so really appreciate it and i appreciate the new followers always number love uh so let's just get to this man i, I don't want to waste a lot of time on it so let's jump right into it and here we go at this point so what i say is listen if you want a guy of a certain caliber you're gonna have to share him whether it's knowingly or unknowingly he's gonna fuck other girls so you need to make peace, peace with that let's fuck them together I there you go. So there you there, go. There you wait, go. wait, wait, wait. What if what nah. if the girl is at the same caliber or even higher than a man? It don't matter. Time, I, wait, wait, wait. I was talking. Let's have some fun. And then, like, let, her, let her ask her question. Right. Ask Most of the time, Please. a lot of times, I've ran into situations that I got more than men out here because uh -huh. a lot of men are bums. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's fair. So no like, argument there. So what? So what if a female is a higher caliber? What is? How do you feel about that? Okay, let's Can say hypothetically. No, hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically, let's say me and you went on a date. Probably not because we I probably triggered did. you already at this point. We already did. We did? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, what? oh shit. I got tea on you, but. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? Now, this chick then came on his show, then sat up on his panel, listened to him talk. They've been talking for, for a while. This is a long show. So they've been talking. They live. They've been talking for a while. She ain't said nothing. She done been, they've been talking outside of this thing. And I think she ain't said this because. He haven't recognized her. And she a little butt hurt because she liked name dropping. But now she wants to bring, she wants to get her part in. And now she want to, she just wants to get that out there. And I, uh, let's see how this go. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What's happening right now? Oh, yeah. What's happening right now? I guess there's a plot twist. Oh, what a twist. Yeah. What's the tea? Yeah. Yeah. What's the tea? Yeah. I definitely uh, met you What's about three years ago when we first moved to Miami. What? When did we meet? It was a very disturbing yeah. encounter. Intro. I really oh, oh, so much you older than you. turned me off. All the way. Tell the story. Oh, Enough right? about me. Oh, sorry, Are you want me to tell the story? Yeah, I'm tell, the story. tell the story. Uh, I do not I, recognize I, I this will, woman, It's okay, because okay. I always look like better all the time, and I always look different. And, no, um, so Myron, Byron, what's your name? Sorry, I'm <laughs> Myron or Byron? Sorry, I'm dead cut, serious. Cut her no. mic off. I'm going to lie. Yeah. No, I'm going to lie. Like, like, and see, that's that BS right there. You come on his show. You come on the damn show, you done been on a date with this dude, you done been in his place, you come on here, now you want to act as if you don't know his fucking name. That's bullshit. See, she's trying to clown him because he doesn't recognize her ass. And she's mad over there that you don't know who I am. So you're trying to clown him, but you're making yourself look stupid now. Because everybody looking like, oh, now look at this. Now you act like you... You don't know his fucking name. Okay. Let's spin this thing. Let's see what else she got to say. Because she's looking crazy right now. Uh, uh, crazy. You, if he just um, called happening? you out about your situation, your relationship, why can't I say something about no, no. My, my experience with him? He, See, girl, he never I'm, saying, go, I'm saying, go ahead. I, no, no. I, I genuinely don't. You don't because you're a dog, so like you don't remember. I'm a dog. Like What's story. happening? See that mad shit? You a dog. That's why you don't matter. Dude, they never said he ain't been anything else but a dog. Whatever. 
Show some respect to the host, please, because the fact that you don't know his name shows a lot about you, okay? I was... Wait, shh. Once again, go ahead. You can tell your story, but I, I, I genuinely Respect don't recognize shit, and or know. He doesn't remember yeah. for the next day. Yeah, yeah. so go ahead. Just, it's it's ignorant her fault. No, Digging, crazy. In, in I believe her. Go ahead, tell your story. What's happening? Let's do it. Oh, All right, so like the goddamn video, guys. Um, like the video. At the time, I was uh, Yo, we staying, years ago. I was staying in Brickell, right? And um, I was, I was walking. You came up to me, mm-hmm. got my number, information. We we're actually. It was at the corner, like over that restaurant by Black Brick, I believe. Okay. Cool um, approach. This is what year? 20 this what? Is, what? It's about three years ago. I've only been here. No, no, no. I've only been here for four and a half years. So it was okay. like about about three years. So I called approach, guys. All right, there we go. Uh, so you called approach. Um, we switched information. You invited me over and um, I came over. The second I sat down on the couch, you just kind of like, 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 how do I think? Like, kind of like. I tried to. It, it was very aggressive. <laughs> yeah. It okay. was very aggressive. Sounds about right. <laughs> and um, like me, like everybody's different. I don't like men sticking down their their tongue down my throat as soon yeah. as I met you. Whoa, like I don't know you whoa, like that. Whoa, whoa. So, Sounds like, about that, right. So, <laughs> what do you, what do you like, like putting in the Huh? Well, what do you I don't. Like well, I don't do? know you. Like I didn't even like, know him savage. for twenty four hours. Okay. What else did I do wrong? Like I don't do that. Like I need to know somebody. Like Sounds about right. No, I don't know why she's touching me when I first when I when I first meet a man. Like I don't want them touching me. I don't want. Wait, so you went over to wait, wait, wait. You went over to his crib. I went to his house because okay. we both lived in Brickell. Yeah. 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 Was it the day of? You went to his house. I think it was the day, day of or maybe the next yeah. day. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, right. You went over there for what? You went over there for uh, some coffee, tea, conversation. You saw that he probably had a nice ride in the crib and you tipped your ass up in there. And he was looking for that box. That's all that was. But go ahead. Say your little piece here, lady. So I was like, yeah, I was sitting on the couch and he kind of like just kind of attacked me very aggressively as far as like, you know, putting your hands on me, um, putting your tongue down, trying to put your tongue down my throat. And I, I just got turned off and I left. And but it wasn't it was okay. a turn off like. It wasn't, you're not a gentleman. It's not respectful. Like, you can't get pussy like that either when you attack somebody so aggressively. But right. that was just it. Yeah. Sounds about right. It's okay. That sounds about right. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, I mean, that's your team. It's even better that you don't recognize me, so that's even better. <laughs> nah, she butt hurt from that shit. She is mad butt hurt that he doesn't recognize her. Mad butt hurt. That's all I can say. You stop the cap. Just stop. Oh my, that's okay. I got a flag on the plane. I know a lot. I know a lot. I know a lot. Muscle down your throat <laughs> within 24 hours, but you went to his crib within, within 24, 24 hours. hours. Oh, yeah. So, why did you go to his crib? <laughs> um, to have conversation. Oh, and now, bullshit. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Bullshit. That's why you got text messages. That's why you got voice messages. We were taking, we were letting him take you out. Wow. So, what made you say, Yeah, I'm gonna go over there, even though I don't know him um, right now? Because I just uh, moved to Miami and I was living in Brickell and he lived in Brickell. So, I was like, All right, cool. Let me, just, area, uh, let me go hang out with him. You know, like. As any other girl like, wants to meet new people. Pro- why you ain't proposed to him? Okay, let's go out in a public yeah, area. Yeah, yeah that's well, more conversation. Because usually when guys invite you over for first that means that's intimacy. Like, that means personal That's, person that's, 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 that's the intention. So, like, the intention nigga, is like, oh, I'm about to hug. If I bring go over, like, right, come over. at nighttime, I'm trying to smash. It was the daytime. It was the nighttime. It was even better. 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 And I think she looked like she didn't have some work on her face. And maybe that's why he doesn't recognize her. And maybe she had some work on her body and all that. 
but she doesn't look real. You know what I mean? It's it like she has some work done. And so that's maybe that's why he doesn't recognize her. Hey, son. Oh, I was just saying, like, if you go in first link, you're most likely gonna fuck because yeah, like that isn't usually like girls like more if you have like i'm not saying that you don't have respect for yourself because I've, I've fucking done that shit myself you know what right. i mean like usually like first link <laughs> like if you go over somebody's crib you're expecting to do something it's not like you're gonna go over there to have a conversation because usually if a guy wants to have like a genuine conversation with you they're gonna take you out first they're not gonna mm -hmm. invite you over their crib yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean so if they're inviting you over your crib the first link that they're not they don't want nothing Unless more than... Coming. Okay, okay. I, 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 peeped, I peeped that real let's, quick let's, and I left. Let's be, realistic. <laughs> let's be realistic. Even if you... What you said you did go over to his house. Brush. Did y'all have an anti-sex conversation about, okay, we not gonna hook up when we first link? If you didn't have the conversation... Mm -hmm. then everything is more so improvised intimately when you get there. That's just... Yeah, it definitely was right. um, mm -hmm. It definitely was Can I say something real quick? I just want to interject. I just want to... <laughs> go ahead, Lee. How, how old are you? <laughs> Me. I'm 31. Four years ago, you was... Right. 29. So okay, and you said you Whoa. just <laughs> met... <laughs> 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, that math didn't make sense. She said she's 31. He said four years ago, you were what? She said 29. That's two. Like, okay. Like everybody else caught you so quick. Ah, uh, twenty nine. Uh, and you're an old looking thirty one year old. Let's just get that shit out there. And that chick beside you to your to your right, not the black chick. That other chick with all that makeup on. Like y'all, y'all two probably don't need to be there. But hey. So you moved to Miami four years ago. You said you were new to Miami, but you've been to Miami for a year before you met him. So you're not you know my new to Miami anymore. I wasn't here for a year. So you've been in Miami for a year already. Next thing, you must have been comfortable enough with him. To go directly to his house after yes, meeting him. We so it's not like while. you were young minded and not knowing what happens when you go to a guy's house. This is not the first time you've Preach. done it. So what please happened? don't start and make it seem like he was trying to mm -hmm. do something else. No, you knew what you wanted. And that's why you no, went I there. didn't. It was like, not, every, not everybody has that because, intention. Just because I'm not it. from Miami, so I, I don't come out here. What does that mean when you say you're yeah, not from Miami? See, they keep using that I'm not from Miami shit, but you're doing Miami shit. You showing up at strangers' houses. What do, what do you, you, you talked to the dude prior. I'm pretty sure he talked about, yeah, you coming over and chilling and all this other shit. You take your ass over there. And now you act as if you, he didn't treat you well. And you, now you such a lady and trying to tell these ladies that, no, you just went over there for conversation. And they're like, you could have called and did that. You can FaceTime and do that. What made you go over there? And he booted your ass out when you weren't trying to do nothing. Mm. Like, you guys like, seem like Miami girls and like, people in Miami, I need girls to understand in, this. So just like the same right. way they were saying girls in Miami, girls in Miami, they, they have like a, a very yeah. small mind. No, we don't. They, oh, they, no. they, they go to oh, fuck niggas all the time. I'm from Miami. Wow, if I go to a nigga the first time, I'm fucking and I'm sucking. Okay. So. And I didn't go out any time. Or you're coming over with the intentions and then the vibe is exactly. right. Exactly. Right. Like if the vibe is right, we're gonna fuck and we're gonna suck. But if the vibe's not right, yeah. I'm clearing it. Like mm -hmm. that's the, I'm, so, if I'm going to your crib, nine o'clock, seven o'clock oh. in the morning, I have intentions and that's to put right. that shit on nah. your ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like, what, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Explain. I'm gonna take your soul. That's it. Oh, oh shit! All right. Yo, soul, 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 soul taken. Right, right, you have something? Like that. I'm with that. Yeah, I'm all about that. Like that shit. That shit ain't gonna fuck with me. Yo, all right, all right. Ladies, 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 ladies,
Ike, did you have some before I say something? Nah, I was just trying to say, man, like, yo, I thought this was fresh on trial. Yeah, just trying to push fresh on, on trial. Yo, if, if you need me to tag in, I'm the best nah, defense nah, attorney in the world. I mean, all she did really was prove that I do what I say. Like, we don't care, bro. <laughs> like, we say what we do. He's like, like, on the podcast. Yo. He says what he does, brother. Yeah. Okay, I don't know about you. <laughs> he. Yeah. My yeah. is okay. living that life. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, I'll say this. No, you, you got my head. Don't worry. Um, so, uh, it's, Myron, it's, yo, the, the same way I talk to these chicks, He's doing the same shit. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. He's doing it. So I'll He's just say that. this. I, I don't know yeah, if you've like uh, watched our content oh, or anything like that. But like, I tell guys all the time, nigga. like, get to it quick. Don't waste your time. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, no, I have You're this is up actually with your like girl, my man. Experience Come on. Okay. Why you ain't want to fuck my man? I don't do this that. This is a high value <laughs> man right here. <laughs> no, no, I just. Because uh, here's the thing. Everybody's like, different. Three, three years ago. Three years ago, I was like, uh, obviously living a whole different life, but that's fine. Like it, it's just funny because I genuinely, I'm not even trying to be an asshole right now. Like I don't know who you no, are. No, that's great. I, I love that. Don't. I don't yeah. want you to Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Did you find my man? You, you definitely found him physically attractive. No, he's cute. Okay, so yeah, you yeah, pulled yeah, up this cool. crib with what intention? What was in your mind? Fuck, um, fuck I feel like. Um, Merch. Like with me, like I'm yes. a very open, like talkative. I like to get to know people. I like the vibe. I have a lot of male friends. You want to know him at his crib? He invited me over. I went over there, like on some chill shit. Like me, like when my homeboys invite me over, uh, like we smoke in the back. But that's your homeboys. But but yeah, you yeah. said homeboys. You and see, that's the thing. She referring as a homeboy. He wasn't trying to be your fucking homeboy. So why are you trying? Me and my when I chill with my homeboys, and I guarantee you, yep, those dudes want to smash too. If you ask them. I try to give it to him, but he he wasn't trying to be a homeboy, so that shouldn't even been the same fucking conversation. Get to know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Myra, do you God, smoke? Like, no, like, no. And the thing is, like, this is like me first moving to Miami. I've never so, smoked weed like, in my life. Like you I, I wasn't know. really like really know like how everybody moves out here. People move real but it's like. It's not a Miami thing. Yeah, it's not. Yo, that yeah, should yeah, be yeah. happening in New yo, Jersey. Yo. I just want to say she's gonna keep it that. Yeah. yeah. Because I get what she's saying. And by the way, you know, yo, I'm I'm Myron's uh, uh, defense attorney. Uh, they have assigned me. <laughs> the but, but, force. But I could be honest. I could be honest. Let's keep it 100. You felt like you would have fucked the nigga if, if he didn't approach it like that. But you felt the approach is a little off. Keep it 100. Because you ain't good right. as green. Exactly. That's to get to know. Exactly. You would have fucked him, but you thought he was too forward. He was too winning. Let's keep it 1,000. I'm going to keep it 1,000. I wouldn't have would fucked him the first day. Period. No, no, no. I'm not saying the first day, but you have plans in mind. If he plays role, you're going to suck on his cock. Stop <laughs> saying that. Yeah. He, 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 he was on the list. He was on the list. He was on the list. Of hitting potential. He would have been. I got a nice I got a nice He would have been playing quick. Clearly, she was saying like, yo, you're fuckable, you're but, fuckable. but she felt like you were too forward and I mean, rubbed her wrong and aggressive. Mm -hmm. She wanted... I don't know, maybe some candles. You're talking a little bit more. No, Play some not even sweat. that. Like, wait, 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 wait. You wanted to figure it out like, yo, I don't got time to waste. <laughs> Do you regret in hindsight not, you know what I mean, trying to like massage the, the, the it's the same intention, like fuck it, right? Like, yeah. we gotta be honest. But, you you feel like you were too forward, and would you have like changed your um? So would you refine your approach? Yeah. yeah. So so here's the thing. Uh, back then, like, and this is a this is a testament. Like, I was getting a lot more girls back then, guys, because I had my government job. I was chilling. I was doing mm -hmm. my thing. Yeah. I didn't have the business, so I was just like, I had my regular job, and that's it. Back. So I had more time to go after chicks, which is it makes sense. So I my cold approach. I don't recall, but if I did, it is what it is. That just shows you guys. That I talked to a lot of girls, yeah. but uh, but the thing is, is that like. I always move quickly because if she's not with it, I just Call get, move one. on to the next yeah, one. And she so, all the time. so if she didn't want to fuck, I was like, all right, cool. And then she probably left and I probably didn't even walk you downstairs, right? I, I was ready to leave. <laughs> okay, so I you left. So she didn't ask me the damn question. Like, I, I know myself, so like I'm always trying to get sex quickly. Right so if she didn't, if, if you don't smash, uh, all right, cool, bye. And then I probably call somebody else. Did I walk, did I walk you downstairs? I don't remember. I probably didn't. Probably so, so no, I you remember everything else. else. That's yeah, you remember every fucking thing else, but you don't remember he told you get the fuck out. 
Like the girl next to her, she knows. She laughs. She's like, she know he put our ass out. Here's the thing, like, yo, all you did, because you, you try to kind of like put me on blast, but all you did was just show that I'm congruent. I, I am who yeah. I say I am. Listen, I, I say didn't show anything. I was just like, saying I can put you on blast, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, listen, I'm King Von. I, mean, I am who I say I am. Like, this is this is how it is. Like, y'all think I'm kidding? Dead ass. She tried to put you on blast, and it didn't go in her favor. Made her look stupid as shit. And I would fuck get. Punk ass. Should have shut your ass up. I'm gonna say this shit. Like, if a girl doesn't want to fuck, go call somebody else. Who cares? I don't even remember her. No offense, <laughs> but like, it's like it is what it is. So like, I tell guys, get sex as quickly as possible. So, uh, get get it. You know what I'm saying? She comes over, escalate. She don't want to smash. Move on to the next girl, and that's Yo. what happened here. Yo, <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take a little break in between this and move this a little forward. Um, they got a lot more. I didn't want to go too long like the other one I did. So I'm going to skip around a little bit, get to another hot spot, and um, and we'll keep it moving. Cool? Cool. Okay, so I moved it up a little bit because I want to get to this part at uh, DJ Academics going to you know pop that question to her. What the fuck do you bring to the table? Now, listen to all this shit she says. And then you, like, especially dudes, y'all, like really do y'all give a fuck like and you hear this shit so much now so it's almost like a trend that women are all saying you know like back, back in the day when everybody was i'm a young black strong independent black woman every black woman was saying that shit at one time every black woman was saying it. so now it's the thing about the businesses and the job the businesses and the businesses and more being an entrepreneur all you hear all that shit now so let's spin this and let's get it going again. Sad little damn girl. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. That's not nice. Let me play the play the role of fresh before he got in a relationship. Hold on. What do you bring to the table? Um, well, I'm self made, self paid. Talk about it. Um, I'm oh, a yeah. celebrity makeup artist. I'm on, I'm on TV. Talk about it. Um, Whoa, what channel? My, what channel? I have my what own channel? business. No, what channel though? Um, well, MTV? I just did a, a little thing for channel VH1, three. but I'm about to be on oh, HBO. Oh, oh, oh. I'm about to be on HBO this week, so I'm filming for Issa Rae. If y'all know who Issa Rae is, yeah. she's a big. <laughs> yeah. Pop that shit. Well, how could a so, nigga like, benefit from that though? I mean, and that's what I want to know right there. He asked her, "What are you bringing to the table?" And she goes off her job titles and her upcoming events. What the fuck is that? How's that going to benefit some dude in a relationship? How? What the fuck is he going to get out of any of that? She just plugging in shit. And then you plug in shit about Issa Rae movie where a lot of people don't like you talking about the movies prior to them producing them and coming out. So you may get put off the damn movie. Because you just exposed something you weren't probably supposed to say anything about. But you trying to get clout on here and just probably fucking yourself up and don't even realize it. But go ahead, because men don't give a fuck about that. We really don't. Because he has a boss bitch you don't need. And, and I will say, it's cool to have jobs and have your own stuff to help contribute to the household. If that's what you're doing, then yeah, he might appreciate a little more. But how often do that happen? You know, she's only speaking about what she ain't said nothing about what she's doing for this man. So it ain't gonna, it's not gonna go the same way. He shit. And most that's part of financial point, yeah, but what she like? Yeah. Yeah. I benefit me, um, Puerto Rican. We got the best boom boom. Okay. Look like she's uh trying to clown the, the sisters on there. That's what it looked like. And we loyal, and I'm loyal, and I can cook and clean, and so that's natural. So it's like I don't really like I don't know I don't got complaints like that. So over I, here. I got one question. Yeah. There's a million women can do what you said. Alpha dude, cook and clean. Everyone with vagina can do that shit. Just want to say that. Why are you single now? 
me because I want to be <laughs> Ooh, that's like right. I, yeah I'm like I've been yeah, in and out relationships no 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 I'm gonna say serious I've been in and out relationships back to back you know dating guys and it just wasn't working and I was like you know what you can't can you go cook? from one to yeah you can't go you from can one clean. yeah I can cook and clean you sound uh-huh. good hey hold Oh, yeah, I, I'm good. Like, I'm awesome. good. <laughs> I all don't right, got no so, so the original, how this all started before you told the story about us uh, meeting allegedly a few years ago. Allegedly. allegedly. Uh, oh, God. I got to find old text messages. <laughs> all, right, all I simply <laughs> said, yeah. right, we we're, were on the conversation. I was saying that, like, you know, women in the West tend to have a, a, a higher sense of themselves, and they think that I'm not going to share no guy with uh, with other women. And what I'm saying is that high value men are rare, whereas beautiful women are common. And you said you responded, well, what if a girl has her own and she's successful too? She's a boss babe. Yo, he might well, to, So <laughs> what I would say to that is this, Get hypothetically on. going back to where we started, if yeah. me and you were on a date, which allegedly we were, and I had told you instead of approaching you, hey, I got an extensive Jordan collection, beautiful shoes, and I'm also, and I got a bunch of Louis bags. That I'm fucking lit with my clothes, and I got some Jimmy Choo's too. Uh, I'm styling. King, what would your response be? King Von. That don't mean shit to me. Thank you. That's exactly what we think about your career. Boom. <laughs> Look at her. I had to catch that expression. She's like, oh, oh, exactly. All them little fucking accolades you trying to kick out, you talking about a dude, nobody's paying no attention to that shit. Because she ain't said nothing yet that's long term. Let's just be real. You some extras and shit and some movie clips, and you ain't really said nothing. You might have been on Issa Rae, up fishing somebody's hair, and that's it. They're not going to let you talk. They ain't let you say shit. You're just going to comb this girl's hair or walk through the fucking place. You don't even know if you're going to be on the show when they finish doing all the production. So don't trip, man. Like you balling like that. You a fucking star. Oh, yeah. So literally, like, the yeah. 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 girls so, in the world. Look at like her expression there. Yeah. Look like at her expression. In the, in the like, sense oh, of, like, yo, everything you said that uh, in terms of what you bring to the table... That's the matter. shit you don't it's give a fuck about. You got a point. Like, you got yeah. a point. That's the shit that no guy gives a fuck about. Being like, I can't do my shit. Like, I don't need to know who I am. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Dragging that ass out. A lot of the shit you just told him, he probably gonna use against you. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. For me, a bitch told me she been on Love & Hip Hop. Yeah. Negative. Right. Hey, yeah, I'm an like, actress, so I'm not sitting there dating people. I don't care how you look at me. You can be the DP. You can be the camera holder. Negative. Yeah, but you're putting somebody out of a stereotype and a statistics yeah. just because they're doing something to benefit their career. He, he didn't mean it like that. My he girl, meant it in the My sense. girl not even in, the, in those type of vicinities. I'm going to keep it a thousand. Right. This girl might be an actress. This girl might be an actress. Or a celebrity makeup artist. Or a stylist. That's why I asked you. Wait, wait. DJ not going to let Fresh go sitting there with that girl. That shit is, is clowning him to death. He just can't stop looking at this shit. And she's sitting all up under him like, what the fuck? Why are they talking about me like this? Because you looking goofy as fuck sitting up here thinking you about to be with this dude one on one. One might get a fucking time. Did you have something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. go uh, ahead. And then, then you can go ahead right like, after. Men don't care if you're a boss. Men don't care if you handle your bag, if you that you're that you handle your whole life, they really don't care. Really? They care that you're sweet and you coming off as like, I'm a boss bitch. I, that's not sweet. They don't want Well, that. I'm not being submissive right now. I'm submissive to a man makes me submissive. Yeah. Okay, fair but enough. And then you got something? You got something? You got something? I'm, no, I, I was pretty much agreeing with what he was saying, but like, that's why I was actually like, what does your career have to do with what like well, what do you bring to the table? Well, do you stimulate well, that nigga spiritually, mentally, like emotionally? Crystals. Like that's really what guys what? Like, really look for in a woman. Those are crystals you talk about. Uh, I like crystals. I was saying because before I was because you were, you know you you mentioned your success and your accolades, which is fantastic. But when a woman mentions that to me, that's the equivalent to me telling you I have an extensive Jordan collection. I got a bunch of Louis mm-hmm. bags. I'm really? styling and I'm drip because just like you don't necessarily care about my ability to make myself pretty or look good from a fashionable sense. That's how men view a woman's career. And I'll go a step further. The more money a man makes, the less he cares about your career. Yeah. So the same, the very men that you're competing for don't care about your personal success because women look for security and success. Men look for beauty and youth. So mm-hmm. you, I don't, I, I don't want to sound like an asshole. Let me just finish real quick. As a 31-year-old woman, no offense to you, you are not going to be able to compete with a baddie that works at McDonald's 18 years old. 
for a high value man that is has a high net worth. Why because I don't have thanks. competition, sir. Okay, but well, you do. In, in your right, right. I'm glad Mike chimed in on that shit. You 31, you about to reach that, like Kevin says, the danger zone. You competing with all those young girls sitting out there right now. You're not the same 24, 23 year old. You 31, about to be 32, if you said you're real age. Because you look a little older. I'm going to give you like 33, 34. But, and that chick there looking old as shit beside that sister. But, um, yeah, you're clowning yourself. And you try to make yourself feel like you're more than what the exception to the rule, and you're not. Your ass getting old, you're getting over the hill, you're getting these little gigs here and there, calling yourself boss bitch with no employees. Let's be for real. They telling the truth, you don't want to hear it. All the girls telling you still don't want to hear it. But they're not going to be looking at you like they're looking at the 25 and 24 and 23 year olds. No way. Just, you might well get used to that shit. Yeah, well, that's fine. But in reality, we all compete, whether we, we want to admit it or not. We all compete. So men compete to get women and women compete to retain men of a certain status. So what I'm saying is that even though you're successful and you make money and you have these accolades, it does not make you sexier, okay, from a male perspective. Mm -hmm. But these things make a man attractive. We live in this crazy world, especially in the West, where we try to tell women attraction is symmetrical. No, it's asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. The things we look for are completely different than what you look for. Yeah. You look for security, success, ambition, mm -hmm. assertive masculine traits, being dominant, alpha, etc. Men? We're repulsed by that. We want a woman who's the opposite. Not all men. Not all men. Okay. I mean, some guys are aggressive. Let me just say men. Let me just say one woman to take care of you. No. Girls, girls. Ladies, ladies, let me just finish. Let me finish my point. You're single. So the thing is, is that. No man wants a masculine woman. That's fine. That's fine. My line is very plugged up. And that's and that's fine that you have options. But what I'm trying to say, though is that men and women are not the same. So of you can not. say you have a career and all this other stuff. It doesn't make you sexier. And as a matter of fact, it's going to ostracize you from the very men that you're competing for. Yeah, my, yeah you got something? Go ahead. Okay, I'll give you an example. For example, like, no disrespect. Yeah, I'm going to shut it down after DJ Academic Star. Yo, I know, I know they pay bitches on Love & Hip Hop. I make that shit like an hour. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's not impressive to me. Mm -hmm. For you to expose your life or for you to even be in that environment. First, I said I was an extra and I'm going on HBO, which is way cool. bigger than loving him. But, but hear what I'm saying. Fuck. Now, she came on there and said it like it was something. Now he's commenting about it. Now you're telling me I was an extra. Look, I can register online for the, the acting thing or whatever, the group, and go to Atlanta tomorrow and get a gig as an extra. That fucking simple. It's not hard to be an extra if you just do the paperwork, register with that little group thing, whatever. I got nieces that do that shit. Go. I'm going to go ahead and end it here because it just, like I say, it's dragging out. And, uh, but it's another part. I probably have another because there was a lot on this that was hyped up. But, uh, yeah, it was interesting. The young lady over there don't seem to understand. You know, she got on here, tried to expose Myron. That shit backfired, made her look stupid. Then she want to talk about what she got going on. Don't have shit going on for a man. And you're single. And you sit here talking like you got all these options and shit. And you don't. You're over the hill. You're looking older than what you are. And I can't stop looking at this chick over here with all this fucking makeup on. This cheetah print shit. She just... What the hell? How did she even get on there looking like somebody's fucking mom? But either way... This is a trend. I, I won't say a trend, but there's something going on with this shit. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just that a lot of a lot of stuff that women are saying is kind of rep repetitious, trendy. You know, it's the the best little thing to say, and um, it's catchy. Put it that way. I got my business here. I got this and this, and be entrepreneur. Blah 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 blah. It ain't said shit what you can do for a dude. If a man want to wife you up or whatever, what the fuck you can do for him? I got the best coon boom boom and I can cook, I can clean. You don't stand out. I mean, what the fuck? 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here and uh, appreciate Fresh and Fit, uh, DJ Academics, Brother Mike Rashid, and the panel of women. I don't know you. Some of you have been on there a few times. I still don't know you, but either way, you was here, so I give you a shout out. And with that being said, what's up with Jay for Light TV? And I'm gonna get out of here for the day. Don't forget, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell so you get the rest of it. I'll probably do another video because my man Act he got off on some shit, and uh, it's kind of hype. So with that being said, what's up with Jay for Light TV? JP, I'm out. Peace.